This video is about foundational concept number one, biology, 1A, proteins and amino acids, structure and function. This accounts for 55% of the biology section. This is the first MCAT video and we'll touch on amino acid description and the absolute configuration at the alpha position. The next amino acid videos will cover amino acids as dipolar ions and amino acids classified into their respective acidic, basic, hydrophilic, and hydrophobic groups. Each amino acid is composed of five groups. In the amino acid backbone, there is an alpha carbon shown in green, a hydrogen shown in purple, a carboxylic acid shown in red, and an amino shown in blue. Each of these are part of every amino acid. The R group is unique, and in this picture below of alanine, CH3 is is the R group. In an amino acid, this carbon is always going to be the alpha carbon and will have all four groups attached to it. The amino group is represented with NH3, meaning there are three hydrogens to one nitrogen. It is a very basic with a pH between 9 and 10. The carboxylic acid group is represented by COOH. It is very acidic with a pH between 2 and 3. Within the human body, the carboxylic acid is deprotonated, meaning that it gains a negative charge and loses its hydrogen atom. This is because it is so acidic that it is usually deprotonated until you reach a pH well below 2 or 3. The R group is shorthand for radical, which indicates any group attached. Think of it as the rest of the molecule. So here in the bottom left, you can see alanine, which its R group is CH3. In the middle, there's glycine with an R group of H. And on the right, there is just a general amino acid structure with R representing the rest of the molecule. In terms of absolute configuration, you must know for the MCAT, you should know that each amino acid is chiral except for glycine. So chirality implies that there are four unique groups attached to the central carbon of the amino acid. So on the left, you can see alanine again, and it is a chiral amino acid because it is attached to a CH3 group. Whereas on the right, glycine is attached to two hydrogens, so it is an achiral molecule. For the MCAT, they need you to know the alpha position of amino acids. So amino acids in humans and mammals are present in the L configuration. Bacteria have amino acids in the D configuration for their walls. So on the left, you can see the L configuration shows the amino group on the left-hand side with the carboxylic acid group on the right-hand side. On the D configuration, you can see that this is reversed with the carboxylic acid group on the left-hand side and the amino group on the right-hand side. So an easy way to remember this is L stands for left and D stands for droite, which is French for right. Amino acids can also be described in terms of priority, although this is very rare. The highest priority is given to the atom with the highest atomic number. S indicates priority is counterclockwise, going to the left, and R indicates priority is clockwise, going to the right. All that we need to know for the MCAT is that all of the L amino acids are in S priority except for cysteine. That is because cysteine begins with a sulfur, which has a higher priority than nitrogen, carbon, or hydrogen.